In this video, we are going to discuss and find out whether social distancing is followed or not using an image of face detection. So this is the image which we are using to check that whether social distancing is followed or not in an image using face detection. The techniques which we have used in OpenCV also quite will be used here too. Now to brief you a bit about social distancing and why it is needed. Social distancing is actually a buzzword in this pandemic situation. It is viewed as one of the best methods to avoid getting contaminated from coronavirus or any other sort of diseases. Social distancing is the way to maintain the distance between human so that one does not come across any other human who is already contaminated. The role of artificial intelligence in measuring social distancing is because office need monitoring devices to ensure that social distancing is maintained among the people or not. Detecting whether a patient is COVID-19 positive or not using AI by training a model using CT scan or X-ray of the previous patient. CCTV detection system for governments to ensure social distancing and alert police before the number of people increase in that area. Now what we are going to do in this example is we will detect human faces. Here you can see there are several human faces which are there. Let's say one, two, three and four. So these are the human faces which are there. So we're going to find out whether the distance between them displaying people whose faces are not too close to each other and that it will give us an output that social distancing is not maintained and the distance is less between these faces. So this is the original image which we are going to do and what we are going to do in code that I am explaining you a bit here, we are going to use OpenCV. It is a library of programming function mainly aimed at real time computer vision. So we will import this library first. Also we will use the math library or that particular library will be used for calculating the distance between the neighbors or we can say the distance between the minimum neighbors which is there. Then we will load the pre-trained Harkaskid file which is an XML file using the Harkaskid classifier and from that we will load the frontal face which we have used in the previous example of OpenCV also. In detect multi-scale we will firstly pass the parameter as the image name or we can say the frame which is there of this particular image. We will change this particular image to grayscale to reduce the size of the image scale. Next what we will do, we will create two empty lists. Now this is the main thing to understand in this program, these things we have previously done also in our code. We will create two empty lists, let's say L and another list will be LF. These are the two lists we will create. In the list L, it will contain the coordinates of the present face where L will be appended to the list LF. That means in L, suppose let's say this is the person 1, it face coordinates will be there. The X and the Y, those coordinates will be present along with the width and the height that coordinates will be present of each and that will be appended to the list 4. Let's see how it's going to happen if I suggest that just taking a rough idea I'm suggesting that 413 and 151 is the first coordinate which is there. Similarly the second phase will be let's say 278 comma 152. The third phase will be let's say 94 comma 31 and like that. So these will be appended together into this particular list LF. S will be appended and then we will put a text also what that text will do put text formula is used to put text in our frame which we have seen and there are many open cv fonts which are there so we will use one of them we will verify the color also and then we will give the thickness also that which thickness we want next the main thing which we need to do is in the program is to calculate the distance so the formula of the distance between the two points let's say x1 y1 and x2 y2 so how we used to calculate that we use the distance formula derived from the Pythagoras theorem that distance will be root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. This is the formula which we will apply and we will store this in a variable name d. And then we will actually, distance is stored in variable d. Now we will give a threshold. So let's say we will give the distance as 150. So where the d is actually less than 150, that particular coordinates it will mention as it and they are not following any social distance and that will be displayed in the image also that these images are not actually following the social distance. So this is the logic of the code which we are going to implement and now let us switch to the collapse so that we can see how can we implement the code. 
So firstly, you can see here that I have loaded the image file also, that is 4.jpg, and I have also loaded the her casket frontal default XML file also, that is required, and I have used the casket classified and stored them in the variable, or loaded that file actually in the face casket. So firstly, I have imported the libraries which are required, np, and as we are using Google Collab, so for that we have also to import the cv 2 show function, we have to import that from google.collab.patches. CV2 we have imported and we have also imported the math library for calculating the distance which is there. Next I have loaded the frontal face classifier to detect the frontal faces first in the image. I have given that with the help of imread function and I have stored that image in the variable name frame. Next I have changed the CVT color of the frame that is the image and the color is changed from BGR to gray that is we have converted it to gray scale so that we can reduce the size of the pixel or we can say we can reduce the intensity and further formulations can be done much easier in the gray scale images. Next what we have done in the faces the frontal casket that multiple faces it will detect the faces which are there according to the neighbors and the size that is given and the scale factor is also given here. Now here comes the major concept of creating to list and appending the coordinates which are there in the final list that is LF. Now here we have given the frame XY that is for drawing the rectangle which we have seen while we are discussing about how can we draw several shapes using OpenCV in that video. So similarly we have done here also we have given the color the RGB component and we have given the thickness. Similarly we have put the font Hershey's simplex you can give any other font also font size the color of the font and the thickness according to it. Next, we have put a text on the detected faces that, okay, these are the detected faces and printed the list which are there, that is L and LF. So, this will actually give us the coordinates of the faces that have been detected. So, here you can see four coordinates have been returned. This particularly is the output of L, the list L where the coordinate of each face is detected. And this is the LF where all the coordinates have been adjoined or we can say joined and appended in a final list that is LF, all the coordinates are joined. Next what we have done, we have used the for loop for calculating the Pythagorean distance formula which we have seen uh, derived from Pythagoras theorem and the formula which we used is x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Similarly we have given that here, here you can see in the math dot square root formula which is mentioned here and we have given the coordinates which are there of the images which is there. And lastly, if the distance, the threshold which we have given is 150, is lesser than 150, then it is going to print as not following social distancing and that we have stored in close person. So what we have created, we have actually created it as empty string, where we will define the distance and display the people who are not following social distancing. As I execute this particular cell, here you can see that it has given us several distances that has been measured, that is of person 1 to person 2, person 1 in respect to person 3, and similarly other. Now here you can see certain distances are actually lesser. So it has also given that person 2 and 3, person 3 and 4 are not following social distancing. Why? Because it is less than the threshold. Next, we will use the cv 2 show function to actually display which particular person is tagging as person 1, person 2, person 3 and person 4. So as I execute this cell, here also you will see that an image will be loaded and like this. Here you can see that this is the person 1. The face is actually quite shifted from the rest coordinates of you can see 4, 3 and person 2 and here the social distancing is not maintained here you can see person 2 and person 3. So 2 and 3 not maintaining that means it is lesser than the threshold that is 150. Similarly 3 and 4 they are not following social distancing. So here we can see that we can actually determine whether social distancing is followed in image using detection. But we all know that this is not the very advanced version, it is very basic. This method has a lot of disadvantages, such as it only works with faces. In real life scenario, people will not be facing camera all the time. So in that case, it won't detect any particular person. It does not ensure the physical touch or not. We know that in social distancing, you cannot touch any person also, but here you can see the hand of this person is actually on the shoulder of the other. That means it is not ensuring the physical touch also. So now we will detect the full person and then calculate the distance between them in our upcoming videos.